of a hairy pass there. Yeah. Did we not see Buemi go by? I believe he's following these two Audis. Yeah, but we saw him go by the leader and, and lap himself. How has he dropped back off the lead lap? Or has he caught some, all the way back up again? For some reason, he... Uh, no, for some reason, it didn't didn't register. So maybe he's two laps behind and the monitors yeah, weren't showing possibly. it. But, uh, Oli Gav leaves the pit lane in the yeah. 74 Corvette. Out of the podium position, both Corvettes, unfortunately. Yeah, I think there. I think you were right on that, Martin. I think there was a problem where they thought, let's just hold yeah. it in pit lane till the last lap, yeah. so we can limp it round. Tag behind the leader, and let's see if it'll make it all the way around without going kabang. Well, races are being won with cars, Mark Cole, that shouldn't have done another lap, haven't they? Oh yes. Oh yes. Rothmans Porsche, 1983. Yeah. It was dying. Every the, the engine was seizing up, and they managed just to get that last lap. They even stopped at one point. They got it going on the starter motor again, and, and Al Holbert brought it home to victory. And, and this is this will be familiar to all old car owners or people who started off in knackered old cars. As he came past the start finish straight, he heard the uh, he smelled the unmistakable smell of the radi radiator vacating the remnants of its water. That <laughs> horrible 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 smell of coolant just yep. whooshed up <laughs> back in towards him and he knew he had eight and a half miles to go and the car was dry and it was not an air-cooled flat six it was a water-cooled flat six and they oh built dear. them tough in Vysak yeah. somehow it made it round and they won and that gave Vern Schupen also of course his uh, his only victory at Le Mans Vern has, it. Vern has that car it's at home in Australia Teams may go to the pit wall. They will go to the pit wall. Yeah. They've now been given permission to cross the pit road as the cars come back down the Mulsanne straight for the final time. And the engineers on the pit wall will be joined by many, many team members as soon as they see that and get the OK from their team bosses. And <laughs> yes, the rush begins. And moments later, after the cars cross the line, the rush onto the track to be below the podium at Le Mans will begin as well. Whatever the weather, we've put up with a lot of this in the last 24 hours. Fans have been wet and dry as often as the teams, Liz. But this moment of celebration, this moment of jubilation at the end of this enormous achievement is always to be celebrated. Yeah, and I think especially this race with with everything we've been faced with, with the tragedy, the hard fought racing, the difficult conditions, everything, I think the teams are going to be more exhausted than they ever have been before. And it's just it's just a different Le Mans. No, it's it's not going to finish the way we always it do. We're not. It hasn't flowed, has no, it? No, it hasn't. Yeah. It's it's not like I say. It's not a Le Mans to remember fondly. I don't think. Good call from uh, Gary Paravani. He says the number eight slowed down to let the leaders go by him, so he didn't have to do another lap. And very good point, of course. Yes. Good. Well spotted. Yeah. That, that Good well point, spotted Gary. you, Martin, because you said you thought that no, you were No, he absolutely passed result. him for the lead. Yeah. And then they, we said, yeah. uh, you know, look after your tyres in case it rains again. And, uh, OK, he dropped back <laughs> when Liz was talking. Pay attention. I can't watch the screen when Liz is talking because I'm magnetically attracted to listen to her. So Christensen oh, leading the last lap. Bertrand Baguette leading P2 on the last lap. Richard Leitz for Porsche, a w Porsche 1-2. And what a return yeah. to Le Mans after 14 years with what no factory return. team here. And, of course, Porsche victory also in the privateer category. The GT Am for Raymond Narak's uh, high-performance, uh, IMSA performance Matmut team from Rouen. So that's a win for the 2013 Porsche and the 2012 Porsche. Fantastic yep. from them, a really great effort. Well, no puncture this time, no dramatic sideways moments caught by the onboard camera, but it will be a fourth second place finish at Le Mans for Toyota. Thinking of Ukyo Katayama's dramatic late race charge to try and catch the winning Audi that was defeated by Debris and a puncture. That was then. This is now. Audi's Tom Christensen, Alan McNish and Loic Duval, the man who claimed pole, will win for Audi. They started first. They finished first in the 2013 Le Mans 24 hours. And if that is all you ever hear about this race, there is so much more that we couldn't possibly fit in. Nine wins now for Mr. Le Mans and tears in his eyes too, I am very glad to say. Alan, your third victory here, how much does that mean to you? Fantastic. It is... Uh... 
for everybody at Audi Sport, it was a tremendously difficult race. There's no question about it. For Tom Loik and I and our engineer grew, we've had a fantastic start to the season and it's just so beautiful. Three is a much nicer number than two, especially when it's wins at Le Mans. Thank you very much. Of course, that car started this race at one point ahead in the World Championship. Double points for the win yep. to add to Silverstone. And we just saw our GTE Pro winner finishing as well. Porsche 1-2 in the GTE Pro class. Oak Racing 1-2 and a Nissan engine 1-2-3-4 in LMP2 as Dr. Ulrich does a Senna stroke mantle and hitches a ride. And in the GTE Am class, it will be Jean-Carl Vernet who takes victory because Lorenzo Carze in second has already crossed the line and must go around again to finish. Marco Ciocci will complete the podium ahead of a valiant, a really, really strong run from the Dempsey Del Piero entry. They claim fourth in the amateur class. Imsa Matmut Porsche's first and second nose to tail, but it is the 76 car that wins its GTE AM class. Raymond Narak, Christophe Bure, and their sub for the weekend, Jean-Carl Vernet. He's done a sterling job along with both drivers. And from Eduardo Freitas, and we echo this, I think, Liz, a huge thank you to everyone for your work on this event. Just above and beyond the call of duty probably doesn't quite cover it no it really doesn't i mean this race wouldn't happen without the help from the marshals and all the support and the volunteers who put all of their time their energy and a lot of their life into it and we we do thank you all for everything that you do absolutely yeah, we did it nice one Congratulations, congratulations. Awesome result. Such a great moment after yeah, last year. It's incredible. Yeah, I mean, this time last year I was laying on my back in uh, the Le Mans hospital. Uh, but yeah, totally different outcome this year. And uh, I felt like I needed a bit of luck this time. This race has been so cruel to me so many times. But the team has just done an amazing job. We did the best we could. Every call with the tyres, uh, in any any situation, we, we extracted the most we could from the car and ourselves as drivers as well. So I'm very proud of the job we've done. Audi are on a different level together from the moment we arrived here. And uh, no, I'm just really proud to uh, finally end up on the podium at this race. And not finish the night at the hospital. You're going to finish the night at the podium. And obviously, I have to say um, about Alan Simonson, uh, I've known him since 1996 was the first time I raced with him in go-karts and uh, I only heard the news uh, after my first quadruple stint. It's very hard, especially with what happened to me last year, to fight my demon, my own demons and carry on driving and yeah, it's sad, sad news and it puts everything into perspective and my thoughts go out to his family and, and, and the team as well and I'm sure he would have wanted everyone to carry on racing and yeah, it's... Uh, Sure, thank you. Enjoy for him as well. Thanks. Well, there's Mark. All we can do is echo Anthony's sentiments. I mean, you yeah. know, it was a, a dreadful, dreadful tragedy for his family, for his wife, for his baby daughter, and for all his friends and his teammates. Just heartbreaking and, uh, and an awful way to start a, a wonderful motor racing event. It just reminds us motorsport is dangerous. So Patrick. Patrick, you end up so close to the podium, but I think this tonight and uh, yesterday, today, you impress a lot of people. So close. Um, we made it. We got here. Uh, it's been a great experience. Uh, I, I felt we improved as the race went on, and uh, we finished the race, which is what we wanted to do. We wanted to get on the podium, and we were so close. Patrick did a fantastic job. So did Joe. The team's been great to work with, and it's been a great ride, and it's a, it's a shame for it all to come to an end right now. You know, it's, uh, it's very emotional, and we'll probably release a lot and drink a lot tonight, but uh, thank you. It's been uh, fun to be with uh, Eurosport on this and to share this journey. Uh, you guys made it very special. You made us look very good, and I, I can't thank you enough. Everybody at Eurosport and all the fans who've supported us along the way. I, I, I wish we had a better result for you, but hey, we'll come back next year, hopefully. Thank you for your kind words. Uh, you are a fantastic team, and you did all the very good job. We feel a lot of emotion. Oh, yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing experience. We're, we're all very tired, very numb. 
in some ways it seems like 10 years since we started this project, even though it's only been a, a few years. Uh, just amazing. And now we definitely... Well, those of you who caught the long shot of the podium, not only are there lots of Danish flags in the crowd, but as we pull back, you will see that since last night, the Danish flag has been flown at half-mast above the Le Mans podium as a mark of respect for Alan Simonson. And now, perhaps it will be raised all the way up again yep. for our Danish winner. And I'm sure that we'll have a very, very emotional Tom Christensen Mark Cole, of all his wins, this perhaps will mean the most to him here today. Yeah, Audi's 12th victory at Le Mans.